thank you very much, Senator Isaacson. Um, I, I'm very pleased to be working with Senator Isaacson on this legislation. As you've heard, and those of you who have been around here for a while know, this is an issue that he's been working on for some time. I'm new here. I'm only in my third year. But you don't have to be here very long to recognize that if we're going to deal with our debt and our deficit, we've got to begin to do some things differently. Um, the news this morning was not good in terms of the increased amount of this country's debt. And it's a reminder of why it's important for us to take a look not just at the tough decisions around spending and taxes, but also at the process by which we make decisions. Um, as Senator Isaacson said, um, the process right now is not working very well. Since 1980, we've only had two budgets that have been completed on time. So in 30 years, only two budgets. Every president since Ronald Reagan has said we need to take a look at um, the budgeting process and change to a biennial budget. Um, I think Senator Isaacson laid out very well the opportunities that exist with a biennial budget. The first year would give Congress and federal agencies the time to put together a budget. Um, the second year would give us time to provide oversight and for the agencies to provide for more effective implementation um, following the mission of those agencies and programs. Um, you know, I, I was a legislator in New Hampshire. I was on the Finance Committee in our State Senate. I was governor for three terms, put together three biennial budgets. I'm now in the United States Senate, so I've had to s the opportunity to see this process work from a variety of perspectives. And I can tell you that even though New Hampshire is a small state, if we look at the 19 states that have biennial budgets, um, they're small states, large states, geographically all over this country. But the challenges are the same for all of us. It's the same challenge we have at the federal level when it comes to budgeting. How do we prioritize scarce resources? How do we make sure that we most effectively operate programs and the mission that we're trying to accomplish at the federal level? And how do we get the best bang for every taxpayer dollar? And biennial budgeting is an opportunity for us, I think, to do a better job of how we're budgeting. So we're pleased. This is the only the beginning. We will continue to work on this legislation to hopefully get a lot of co-sponsors on both sides of the aisle. And I think it's important that, as Senator Isaacson said, um, we weren't just dates at the State of the Union the other night. Um, we're working together to try and move this Senate and this country forward. Thank you.